Hey, it's 2020. 2020. Check this out. Happy New Year, first of all. Um, I have committed this year that I'm going to actually cook for myself. I do cook, but a lot of times I snack and I cook for everybody else. Healthy meals, and not so healthy meals, just food. I do believe in moderation uh, most of the time. So what I'm going to do today is I want to show you how to make salmon croquettes. Um, some of you may already know, but I'm going to show you how I make them. Uh, I had some, uh, gosh, it was a Christmas breakfast at church for the ministers. I had some, someone made some, and I've been having a craving for them ever since. So what I decided to do was make a quick video. And so this will be really quick. Um, most people and most recipes that um, they call for canned pink salmon, uh, but if you want to step it up a notch, as I do, uh, I actually poached or boiled some, well, seasoned some water and boiled my salmon. Um, so it's just me. That's the other thing. It's just me. So uh, I don't need to make a big batch of salmon croquettes because uh, I'm going to probably make enough here that'll last me for today's breakfast and then maybe tomorrow you know if I don't eat them later <laughs> so for myself I'm making if this is just a half a pound of poached salmon which is boiled and then you just crumble it up just kind of you can fork it or crumble it and then you need one egg that's beaten and I will post the recipe on my on my site you just need one beaten egg and I put the egg when you break your eggs, you put them in a separate, one at a time in a separate bowl, just in case you drop uh, shells in them. You know, if egg might have something in it, child, and you don't want that in your food. So <laughs> that's how you do it. And then uh, I have breadcrumbs and cornmeal. If you don't have breadcrumbs, you can use flour. And so this is really just an eighth of a cup of each, okay? And you just dump everything in there at the same time. And then, <laughs> onions, baby, onions. And so, um, you can put as many kind as you want. I'm using, um, if you want to measure, this is more like an eighth of a cup of onions. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. This is my pink Himalaya salt. I don't use a lot of salt. And then, literally, you just mix this up. Just mix it up. Mm -hmm. And I don't own the rights to that music back there playing. Um, it's just a really nice uh, day. And I don't cope mine with cornmeal, okay? But I do have a little cornmeal in mixed in, okay? Because the less filler you have, the more meat. So here we go. And then really, that and the egg is basically going to help hold it together as the breadcrumbs, okay? And then you want to, um, you want to have uh, a, if you have a cast iron skillet, wonderful. Uh, but I'm just going to put it kind of like on medium high and heat that oil up. Now the oil, uh... It's not much oil in there. It's just enough to uh, fry these girls. Because, I, you know, sometimes they, add, they tell you to uh, put like a half an inch of oil. I think that's a little too much. I'm not trying to deep fry them. <laughs> and I really don't want to have to fry them, but I, I, I do like the crispiness of it. And certain things, I just, again, I say that I'm more into moderation than I am um, I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat that. I eat very little, if any, bread um, when I'm trying to do right, which is now. See, and you just form these. I like small stuff. Uh, but you can make them big, as big or as little as you want. And see, that was, that's enough breadcrumb and egg in here to hold this thing together. And so you just make them, honey. That's it. Now, I'm going to... I will post this... Um, on um, social media so you can see it but until then 
Oh, and keep in mind, when you fry them, um, you're actually just, you know, cooking everything, like the egg and stuff, to hold every, that, that's holding it together. Because keep in mind, the meat is already done, the fish. You know, for those that are a little technical. The fish is already cooked. It's already poached. So, uh, it's done. So it's not like you're cooking and trying to get the um, salmon done. So anyway, honeys, I'm going to get out of here and I will post a picture of the finished product. I don't want to hold you up, but I hope you all have a wonderful day today and have a really productive uh, new year. So these are salmon croquettes. Salmon, of course, is really, really um, high in omega-3. It has really good fish oils in it that we could benefit from. So anyway, this is something that you could cook no special occasion, honey. Just get up and if you don't, again, if you don't want to use um, fresh salmon, wild caught, what have you, um, you can use canned. I just like to see what I'm working with. I'm, I'm not, a, uh, it's not anything about being a good cook or chef. Um, I just, I just prefer fresh, okay? Um, even when I make my tuna fish, when people order tuna fish, we get a tuna steak and we work it out from there. Let me see if this is ready. Almost. It's almost there. I might as well let y'all see it. It's almost there. But anyway, I was going to let you see it. It's taking too much dead time. Ted, dead wait. Time is money. Money is time. So anyway, um, just check it out. I will post this, uh, the recipe along with this. And um, take care.